Hey guys, this is Dan Smith. Um, I want to thank you for checking out our Kickstarter campaign. Um, we're hoping to raise some money for Brandon Cooper here. He's the manager at the Puyallup Food Machine that supports the local YWAM. And what is, what is the local name of the YWAM chapter? So this is New Beginnings Home, and they have uh, several houses here that house and support uh, local young single mothers. If they need a place to live or just need some help deciding whether they want to raise the child on their own. So before we talk into what talk about uh, what Brandon's needing here um, and what we're trying to raise money for, I just want to have him give you a quick tour of the facility. What they're doing is really cool. How they're doing it is really cool. And uh, later on, we'll get more into what this facility is actually helping to support. So I guess without further ado, you want to give everybody the tour and tell them what you're doing. All right, come on inside. So Peel Food Machine is an aquaponics system. And aquaponics basically is uh, hydroponically grown plants. This is technically a deep water raft system. And uh, the aqua part of it are fish in the bats. So we have a recirculating system here where the fish provide the nutrients for the plants and the plants filter for the fish, basically. Okay. <laughs> um, we have approximately 10,000 gallons in our system here. And we can put out a maximum capacity of about 1,500 plants a week. Well, wow. there's 6,000 holes in the system here, and then we have some starter tables we can put in the first two weeks of life of our plants. And we start from seed, and we germinate, and we go all the way to market in this place. Okay. Um, I can show you... What do you got growing right now? So right now we have some butter lettuce on this side. Uh, we also have some basil over here. And we're doing some trials with uh, some mint plants and oregano and a few of other different herbs. One of the things that's been really great in the markets for us is doing living plants. If we can just pull it straight out and have the roots intact. And we can actually sell with the roots on it, especially with the herbs. And that will last in someone's house for uh, up to a month. So they can just keep using it. So, so we could just... Uh if you get a living plant, you just kind of yep. pull off a leaf and eat it and go. Exactly, yep. And it'll just keep kind of growing a little bit while it's in the fridge? Yep, you just keep some water in it, or you can just keep it on your counter if it's an herb, or this would stay in the fridge, but... Um. That's fresh. So tell me about the system here. I see you got pipes coming in. Yep, so uh, a lot of what we do here is by gravity, so that actually saves uh, both heavy. If you have two point pumps, then it create some balancing issues so we just have one pump um, so the water actually gravity feeds from the high point which is the fish tanks in the back and it comes all the way down through a four inch pipe and up and in to the grow bed and gradually flows back down to the other end and into a sump tank and then from there is where the one pump is and it pumps it into the fish tank. Let's check out the fish. Yeah. So this is some of your basil? Yep. Okay. How old are these plants? So these plants is a very good question. Uh, during the summer when we have a good amount of light, we can go from seed to market in about seven weeks or a little less than seven weeks. <laughs> so from what I hear, that's quite a bit quicker than normal traditional gardening. <laughs> we got, so we're about 84 degrees in here. Outside I think today is about 60. And it feels really nice. I'm glad I wore a light shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so we also do kind of succession planting. Um, so it's a good thing in aquaponics to make sure you have some plants in your system at all times. So you want to partition it out. And you can see we have uh, smaller plants here and kind of just gradually. So I think we have about four different ages going right now. All right. Pretend we're on MTV Cribs for a minute. Yeah. We tell, them this, tell them where the magic happens. So th this, is where, this is where all the good stuff happens here. Uh, the fish are going to emit ammonia through a couple of different awkward ways. Uh, one is 
through breathing in their gills, and the other part is through their excrement, if you will. Okay. Uh, and that's where the nitrification process comes in and ends up making nitrogen for the plants. So I see you've got four tanks for fish right now. Um, when we were talking earlier, you tell me that only the front two have fish, and you're hoping to bring the other two online. Yep, so currently we have the front two going. Uh, we might do a third one for the summer. Uh, and the fourth one could be a uh, breeding tank or just a way to, for us to expand if we want to do additional grub beds later. One of the big kind of issues that we've had here, which uh, Dan has been helping us kind of figure out, is filtration. Uh, we've really struggled with our water quality. Uh, and a big reason is because we need a filtration system that we haven't been able to afford, because uh, it can be pretty pricey, and also just figuring out what type we need. Uh, we'll get, uh, here in a, in a minute, we'll get another video going, and I'm gonna walk you through all the problems that they're having, and kind of get into the technical geeky side of it, which I, I think Brandon knows I'm a big geek about the chemistry behind <laughs> all this stuff. Um, as well as the construction aspects, and uh, we'll get into that. But for right now, you just want to show everybody some of the fish, uh, maybe pull a couple out and show them how where the sea ones are. Absolutely. Uh, so we've got, I think, four different ages of fish going right now. Uh, and the little hop over here, there's just a few months old, and these guys over here are just over a year old. <laughs> Take a look at one of these guys. Yep. Let me find my net. While he's grabbing his net, I'll tell you real quick, tilapia are great fish. They're delicious. And here in Washington, there's actually not too many people um, producing them. Most are just people that have a backyard system and they're growing some aquaponically or maybe in their pond. Um, what I'm getting set up to do is actually a large commercial operation to supply restaurants with very high quality fish. Um, right now they're struggling getting stuff in from out of state that's not the quality that they want. And I'll tell you, Brandon has got some gorgeous fish here. They're growing a lot slower than they should be because of the issues he's having that we're going to help him with. Um, but why don't you grab one of these out and, and let's show people what we're talking about. This guy's one of the smaller ones in the tank. But I can tell you, as a chef, you look at how bright their eyes are, and you look at how clean the skin is, and I mean, the fins are in great shape. These are some beautiful, beautiful, healthy fish he's raising. Um, the only problem that Brandon's having here is with the speed of growth and the food conversion ratio. Um, and that's all caused by the problem. This is a year old fish. At a year old, this should be nearly two pounds at least, um, maybe two and a half. And they're harvestable at about a pound. And I'd say this guy's uh, probably about a half a pound, which is only gonna yield you a little over a quarter pound of filet if you're lucky. Um, so he's definitely too small to be doing anything with right now. And uh, it's, it's just a shame that he's doing such a beautiful job with the fish and they're not quite where he needs them. So, what 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 can you tell us about um, the system and what your daily chores here look like? I know there's a lot. Yeah. So uh, the way I start my day every day is taking water quality readings. Uh, so the things that we test here be pH, ammonia, nitrites, nitrates, uh, as well as dissolved oxygen level when I can get my hands on a meter. Those are kind of expensive. Um, and that's kind of been one of our disappointments is that our water quality hasn't been where we want it, which leads to not being able to feed the fish as much as we want. So we'll get more into that in the challenges area. Um, but as far as the fish, uh, we feed twice a day. Uh, kind of do a, ideally 10 minutes of feeding, and at the end 10 minutes you want them to eat and everything. It's usually a good amount. Uh, the smaller fish would definitely like to be fed more like three or four times a day if you can manage it. Uh, but, but two works. Okay. Well, it's, these fish, I can tell you from experience down here, um, like to fly. 
man. Yeah. So we've got to keep the nets on. So put these back on, and then we'll be right back with you in another video to go over what what the problems they're having are and how we're going to help them solve.